This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, December 7th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. One of the parts of my life that I love is the rhythm of writing sermons, sitting down at the beginning of the week with unstructured ideas and maybe a title, and then slowly as the week develops, getting from those unstructured ideas to a sermon itself. A lot of that is unstructured time. It's just sitting either in my office or more often than not exercising or taking a shower and just turning over a topic in my head. You know, the topic for this, sum this Sunday is, uh, I, I, somewhat optimistically, the spiritual uh, utility of futzing is, is what we wrote down um, when we were doing worship planning a couple months ago. And one of the places that I'm starting is this blog post from Pathios. And it goes like this. A young man from South America stayed as a guest with my family during the Christmas holidays. It was his first ever visit to the United States. And when we asked how the American Christmas compared to the same tradition in his home country, he tilted his head slightly and slowly said, in America, I think Christmas is more he paused for a moment, searching for just the right phrase in English. He then screwed up his mouth and carefully, deliberately pronounced the word scheduled. I actually crave boredom, this author writes. Life gets so frantic, moving at a full throttle pace to try and manage the job, family activities, domestic chores, committees and boards, church, social events, and some semblance of an online presence, that I feel I must be productive every moment of the day in order to be worthy of myself. What a bonus it would be to discover a chunk of time when nothing was expected of me, when I am completely off the hook. Ironically, some of the most productive, spiritually liberating, and creative moments come when we are unstructured. When we are, yes, bored. These are the times when we and our mind can wander and we begin to daydream. When our subconscious starts connecting the dots to reveal new insights. It is when we open this window to nothingness that breakthroughs occur, when spontaneous conversations happen. Perhaps even holiness and grace patiently await us in those moments of unplanned inactivity. So I would love to claim that that reading will be central to the worship service on Sunday, but the reality is that there'll be some unstructured time between now and then, and in that unstructured time comes inspiration. See you tomorrow.